Greetings Entities and Guardians, my name is Viper Himes, and I love dragons. They're basically the alligators of the sky. Yes, I really did just say that. They're scaly, they have big teeth, and they even have wings. Who wouldn't love dragons? Well, unless they actually existed and proceed to destroy everything we know and love. Man, that went downhill fast, didn't it? The official Cookie Run YouTube channel recently uploaded a new teaser video for the new Cookie Run Oven Break update. If you're subscribed, then you probably know what's about to happen, but if you're new here, then you probably need a refresher. I make these videos to analyze these teaser trailers and try and theorize what we could potentially get. All I'm going to say for this video is that it's different than anything I've seen so far in these trailers. But enough of that. Let's get started. The video is titled, It Begins, Cookie Run Update Teaser, with the thumbnail of Rose eerily close to Mi'kmaq's ear. If that thumbnail isn't creepy, then I have no idea what is. The description, excluding all of the socials, also says, It Begins, a major update awaits, which is interesting. How could it be so major? Well, let's look at this and find out. The video starts with Mi'kmaq sitting alone on a chair, wearing a suit with the shade of the video consisting of blacks, whites, and a lot of grays. Not to mention that the music in the background sounds simple and somber. Rose would then fade into existence, whispering something into Mi'kmaq's ears. She would then do it again, each time appearing on opposite ends of Mi'kmaq's ears. What she's whispering exactly is honestly beyond me. Also, the only thing that has color in this video is Rose's dress and lips. The video would then fade back onto Mi'kmaq's face with him slowly opening his eyes. His expression of numbness would then slowly turn into a grin before the video shows us text that says, It begins. The Isle of Awakening Dragons. First look on March 27, 2200, GMT plus 9, with the video ending on the new update logo used for the update. Alright, let's get this out of the way. That was probably one of the creepiest teaser trailers we've ever seen on this channel. Not only that, but there was practically NOTHING we could go off of. Like, we have Mi'kmaq in a suit, multiple roses, and a chair. Do you really think we can actually go off of anything like that? Well, actually. Let's focus on something important first. The title of the update. It's called The Isle of Awakening Dragons. This most likely means we're getting something dragon related, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Another part that I found interesting in the video is that remember when Big Mac grinned near the end? Well, if you take a closer look at his eyes, you could see that his eyes had a dark reddish tint and his pupils were more narrow. This was only after the Rose clones informed Big Mac of something. So what exactly was that something? Well, I think I have a hunch that you should hear me out on. Let's refer back to a cookie who said something important during an important part of the cookie run story. During the story of finding the legendary dragon, Mango said this exact quote. And no, I'm not going to meme it and say it insanely fast either. Mango Cookie said, According to the legend, there's a red dragon that controlled fire and brimstone, and a golden dragon that controlled the earth, a blue dragon that granted wishes, a violet dragon that manipulated darkness, and the all-knowing ivory dragon. In Cookie Run Oven Break, we know the existence of five dragons, only seeing four of them and only being able to play as three. The first dragon we ever see in the story is Pattaya Dragon Cookie when Milk, Purple Yam, Dinosaur, and Malasauce fought them within Dragon's Valley, or at least somewhere near. After the fight, Malasauce and Purple Yam had split up from Milk and Dinosaur due to a sudden earthquake. In the perspective of Milk and Dinosaur, they end up finding Ananas Dragon Cookie since they tampered with his land and gotten kidnapped. However, since they protected Mango Cookie, they let the two go. In the perspective of Purple Yam and Malasauce, they would end up waking up in the ocean before passing out again, and then wake up in front of Bellflower Cookie and Ginseng Cookie within in a place known as Herbville. After a bunch of events, they would soon confront Lotus Dragon Cookie after hearing that the dragon could create wishes. After some weird events with Lotus Dragon Cookie, the group decides to confront them again, but then they encounter Gingerbrave and all of his friends. Turns out, the magic compass that Gingerbrave had ended up pointing them in the direction of Lotus Dragon Cookie, and they ended up in a bit of a pickle. Wanting revenge, they tried to fight Lotus Dragon Cookie, and failed as they'd gotten kicked out. However, at the end of Adventure 6, Milk and Dinosaur Cookie ended up finding not only their old friends, but a bunch of new friends as well. Now, here's where it gets a little interesting. We got a few glimpses of another dragon known as Lychee Dragon Cookie. At the end of Adventure 4 of Ginger Brave's Tale, we see Lychee Dragon Cookie saying that I must return with haste and report my findings, implying that they've been watching the whole time and they've been informing someone about everything that's been going on. Also at the end of Adventure 6 of Ginger Brave's Tale, Lychee Dragon Cookie appears again at the end. However, this time they're confronting Lotus Dragon Cookie. They confirm that they and Lotus Dragon know of each other and Lychee is hunting for the cookies who had recently stopped by. It seems like they're about to fight, but the adventure soon ends after that. While that's all we know about the dragons as of right now, I might have a hunch of what this trailer means. What if the teaser trailer was a representation of Lychee Dragon Cookie informing Ivory Dragon Cookie of everything that's been happening? Notice how Rose seems to disappear in the darkness. Remember, Lychee Dragon Cookie is supposed to be a violet dragon that manipulated darkness. Maybe Lychee told Ivory that the cookies are stronger than they look since they haven't fell short from any of the dragons yet. The all-knowing dragon is knowing more and more things. Maybe the compass belongs to Ivory Dragon Cookie in some way. We just don't know about it yet. 
yet. Also, let me just talk about the logo real quick for the update itself. The banner under it literally has the color of violet. Sure, it doesn't have a violet where it's more closer to the color of blue, but it definitely looks like it's resembling more of the color of the actual lychee fruit. But with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, what can we even expect with this update? It's reasonable to assume that we'll be seeing adventure number 7 and we'll have to go through 20 more levels of torment. With hey, since it's number 7 and we're getting even deeper into the story, it's probably gonna be 25 levels. I think we'll finally be getting Lychee Dragon Cookie as a playable cookie, but I don't think we'll be playing as Ivory Dragon Cookie anytime soon. Though we might get a small glimpse of the all-knowing Dragon Cookie in their physical form. It really just seems like the main story is building up to something big. If there does happen to be another new cookie alongside with Lychee Dragon Cookie, it would probably have to be a cookie that would relate to helping the dragon somehow, like Hydrangea Cookie with Lotus Dragon Cookie, or Mango Cookie with Ananas Dragon Cookie. Obviously, when it comes to an update, we can't just skip over the costumes. I feel like when it comes to costumes, it has to do with some of the cookies who work under dragons, like Hydrangea Cookie and Mango Cookie, or cookies who are on a quest to hunt for the dragons, which is quite the few amount of cookies. However, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the dragons received a legendary costume, which would be the first legendary costume for the dragons. For events, we'll probably be getting a new treasure to go along with a new cookie or cookies that could also potentially include a treasure mastery event to go along with it. I don't know why, but I feel like they might return with the Beast or Trophy Race event, and I'm very scared about that. Though speaking of Trophy Race, someone's going to be receiving a new Trophy Race shop specific costume since the time of getting the costume for Candlelight Cookie is nearly up. I'm not sure who exactly it's going to be, but it might be pretty cool. Also, halfway through the update, friendly runs are going to disappear and will either get replaced or stay blank until the next update. In the the pattern with legendary cookies being released, I feel like if we end up getting Lychee Dragon Cookie as a playable cookie, then there's going to be some sort of Labyrinth Maze event, which is much similar to the one with Hydrangea Cookie and Lotus Dragon Cookie, and the one for Timekeeper Cookie and their pet Continuum Cog. Another thing important to mention, the official cookie run Twitter stated that Magic Candy Creation would end up having a 100% success chance. However, they did say this would only apply to commons, rares, and epics, and said nothing about legendary cookies, so... Yeah, I would watch out about that. Lastly, there's going to be a new jelly set, that's just a given. Diary shops are going to reset, $10 pet. And at the end of the update reveal video, they're going to give out a coupon code for rainbow cubes at the end. And of course, at the end of these videos, I always have to state this. Spend your diary gems in the diary shop before the update approaches, because once it approaches, the diary shop is going to update and you will lose all your diary gems for that update. And also, that applies with friendly runs in the middle of the update. Spend all your friendship points while you can, because once they're gone, they're gone. But at at the end of the day, this is just an analysis of the teaser trailer that I did, and these are just theories that I decided to bring up because I thought they were pretty cool. What do you all think? Do you think I'm insane and should be deserving to be put in an insane asylum in a straitjacket, or do you think these actually make a little bit of sense? Why not let me know in the comments below? But for now, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, also share with your friends some more Kicker Run content and theory content and stuff like that, and if you enjoy my content in general, why not subs just subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications and this YouTube show in the near future. And last but certainly not least, we do have merchandise available, but I'm not forced to get to buy anything. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees!